Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back. So I have a really huge haul video for you. Um, lots of stuff from Sephora. I picked up a lot of this, these products during the VIB um, sale. So um, I picked up some then, some before, and some just today. So um, I'm just going to do this haul video. I'm going to try to go fast because I do have a lot of products. I And I have more stuff to show you from like Ulta, but I'm just going to do a totally separate video for that so it's not too long. Um, so the first product I want to show you is this Bite Beauty Lipstick. And this is my first Bite Beauty product. I've heard lots of great things about the lipsticks from Bite Beauty, so um, I picked this one up. It was in the Radiant Orchid section, like they had a bunch of different products from different brands on a shelf um, that were kind of Radiant Orchid colors. This lipstick is the Luminous Cream Lipstick and it's in the color Grenache. And this is what the packaging looks like. So the lipstick is really pretty. Please excuse my dry hands. My hands are extremely dry right now. So that's what it looks like. It kind of smells like a crayon. I don't know. It smells a little bit like a crayon, but um, it is the color over here on this side. So this one, again, is in Grenache. So I'm really looking forward to this. I hope it, it lives up to my expectations um, because I've heard lots of good things. So looking forward to that. So next, I picked up a lot of products from the Sephora Pantone Universe collection. So this is the lipstick. This is the Radiant Rush Matte Lipstick, and I just love the packaging on all of this stuff. It's just so pretty. So that's what the lipstick looks like. It's in a square package. I love the packaging. It has a magnetic closure. So that is what the lipstick looks like. And... Um, I have a couple dupes for this. Um, this one's supposed to be matte, but the ones that I have are not matte. But I'll show you those real quick just so you know like what a dupe for it. But this is the color right over here on the, on the let's see, it's your guys' right side. All right, so the first dupe is the Maybelline Color Sensational Vivid Lipstick. And this one is in Hot Plum. And it looks pretty much the same. Uh, it might be slightly darker, but it's pretty darn close. So this one over here is the Vivid. This one is the Pantone Universe color. And the next one that I have is the Pixel Lip Butter. And this one's in Gorgeous. I did a video um, reviewing just a few products from Pixel. But this is one of the products I picked up. And I was like, wow, that looks a lot like the Radiant Orchid color from Sephora. So that's what it looks like. And... This one feels the most creamy, buttery right over here. So it is maybe just slightly different. These two are probably more alike than the one from Sephora. The Sephora one's matte and these two aren't, so. But they're all very close in color, if you guys want to do. This one's like $3.99 and this is probably, I don't know, what is it, like five, six bucks, maybe seven bucks, just depending where you get it. So then I picked up the Brush Luster Cheek Sweet Palette. It came in this packaging, but oh, the packaging on this stuff is just so pretty. It just makes you not even want to use it. You just want to set it out for display. But yeah, this is the Cheek Sweet Palette. Oh my God, it's, it's gorgeous. You guys must get it. I don't know if it's out of stock or not, but if you can still get your hands on this, I totally would. So, um... This is Radiant Orchid. This is Spanish Villa, and this one's Bridal Rose right over here. So let me just swatch these really quick. This Radiant Orchid blush is like to die for. I don't have anything like it. It's just so pretty. And these, the texture of all of these is just oh, so silky. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. Some products, you know, from Sephora are hit and miss, but this whole palette right here is totally worth it. And I think it's only like $20, $28 or... 26 I don't know but it's very affordable and it's a must-have so if you haven't got your hands on this I would totally totally pick it up or order it online hopefully it's in stock and then I picked up the Sephora the eye radiant femme artistry set and it's this big eyeshadow palette right here really excited about this um, I wasn't gonna get the eyeshadow palette but I swatched it in the store and it was super extremely soft and smooth and creamy and pigmented so I was like why not all right so this is what it looks like it almost looks like a iPad or something but um, again beautiful packaging it's thin um, great for travel 
and it has a huge mirror so you could take this traveling and you know do your makeup in the mirror it has the names of all the shadows on this little transparent sheet and these are all the beautiful colors so I'm not gonna even swatch them just because I'm sure you guys have seen tons of video on this but but yes ugh, can't wait to use it I haven't used it yet it's just kind of been sitting there waiting to do this haul video for you so and then I picked up the lip glosses from the collection. This is the Radiant Paint Gloss Trio. And I wasn't going to pick this up either, but I've heard such great things about it, so I decided just to go ahead and get it. So I heard this nude color is, like, amazing, and the name of it is, does it say? Oh, I don't, oh Brick Dust is the name. Mm, they smell really good too. Oh yeah, this this is <laughs> look at that. It's so opaque. This one's the Radiant Orchid shade. And this is a little bit bright, but uh, I just couldn't resist. Look at that. And they smell like vanilla. They smell so good. The last one's called Lilac Sachet. Or Sachet, is it called Sachet? I think it's called Sachet. Um so this one's a little bit milky, but I'm sure it could be a topper for another kind of lip product. So it's really light and pale pink. So I picked up another Sephora brush. This is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. It's number 57. It comes with this little cap on it, which helps protect it like if you're traveling. So um, that is what the brush looks like. It is extremely, extremely soft. So I can't wait to try it with concealer. Uh, yeah, it's really, really soft. So looking forward to that brush. So I picked up the new Kat Von D palettes. This one here is called Chrysalis Eyeshadow Palette. Chrysalis? If I'm saying that wrong, please do forgive me. But look at the beautiful packaging. I just love it. And these are pretty big. Um, just to give you a comparison, like of a NARS blush, look at that's the size of the palette. So it's a really decent sized palette. Um, I'm not going to even swatch these for you. If you guys want a separate review video on these, I can do that for you. But um, just because I have so much stuff, I don't want to swatch all of the colors. But oh, the packaging is just so pretty. I just love all the detail. I love the beautiful colorfulness on it. Um, it has a full size mirror. And it has all these beautiful shadows. So... I'm excited about these. And then the next one is the Monarch eyeshadow palette. And again, beautiful packaging. Nice and colorful. I just love colorfulness. <laughs> so um, the, this is more of a neutral palette. But look at these. They're all the pretty shades. But I swatched this. Um, I swatched a few of the colors in this palette at the store. And they're very buttery and pigmented. So... I can't wait to play. So sticking with Kat Von D, I picked up one of the bronzers that she has. Um, I have almost all of the blushes, if not all of them, and I really, really love them. They're the Everlasting blushes, and um, you don't hear a lot of people talk about them, but I really like like them. Um, so this is the bronzer, and this one's called Shady Business Number no. One. They have a Shady Business Number no. Two, but that one's a little bit darker. So I picked up this bronzer. I've never tried the bronzer before. Um, it has more of a kind of satin finish to it. It's not highly shimmery and it's not a matte finish. I would say it's more of a satin. It's very soft like all of the cheek products that um, she has. And um, it has like a slight sheen to it. So I've worn it once. I'm still testing it out to see if I like it. But um, So for the most part, I like to use matte bronzers, and I like to contour matte with matte bronzers. But in the summertime, um, we all kind of want that glowy skin, I like to bronze with something glowy. So um, I thought this would be a good product to bronze up. Whoa. So I thought this would be a good product to kind of add some glow to my face during the summer and not just use a straight matte bronzer. I would just use kind of a fluffy brush and kind of dust it all over. Um, my cheeks just to give me a little bit of a glow. So I picked up another one of these Sephora Micro Smooth Powder Foundations. This is in the number 15, it's in light. And this is just a backup because I figured 
while they were on sale or while I had a coupon code, um, I would get this because I have another one and I love it and it's getting kind of low. Um, and then I picked up another Illamasqua blush. I really love the Illamasqua blushes. So I picked up this and this is in the color Lover. It's just a gorgeous like peachy color. Ugh, I just, it's beautiful. So it's a matte shade and it's really pigmented. It's gorgeous. It's so soft and buttery. Like, ugh. I've used it a few times and I just absolutely love it. So this is a really great color for spring or summertime. And I picked up three of the Hourglass blushes, the new blushes that they came out with. I'm sure you guys have seen tons of people talk about these, so I'll just go over them really quickly. Um, this is the packaging. I'm sure you've all seen it. It's really sleek packaging. This one's in Mood Exposure, so it's more of a mauve shade. And I love my mauve blushes, so I just had to pick this one up. So there it is right there. Now these are really um, kind of finely milled, so sometimes blushes don't swatch as well on your back of your hand as they do on your cheeks. So just keep that in mind when, when you see my swatches. The next one is Dim Infusion. And this one's really, really light, so it might be hard to see on my light skin, but there's a swatch of it right there. Yeah, it's super light. Probably won't be able to see it. So that one was Dim Infusion. And lastly is Radiant Magenta. I'm trying to go fast, sorry. So Radiant Magenta. So there's a swatch right there. So I picked up a NARS blush that has been on my list for a while and it's the NARS blush in Madly. And I can't remember how they describe this. It might be the one they describe as a seashell pink, but it's not really pink. It's, it's a very neutral blush. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's really micro, micro fine. It's very tiny. You can hardly see it. So I'll give you a little bit of a sheen on your cheeks. I haven't worn this particular one yet, but um, it's a very neutral shade. It almost looks like that bronzer that I just showed you for, by Kat Von D. So this would be a good color, like if you didn't know what blush to wear, you could probably reach for this one and it would go with pretty much anything because it's very neutral. So uh, it's very soft and smooth and um, I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I picked up a new foundation. This is the YSL foundation. I think this is a new foundation. It's the Letent, Letent something. That's what it's called right there. I won't even say it because I'll totally butcher the name. So um, my skin has changed so much, it's just so dry. Um, so matte foundations, like full coverage matte foundations have been really settling into my fine lines, accentuating my dryness, settling into my pores. So I've been on the hunt for like a new foundation. One. So I picked up this one and I'm really excited to try it. Now it is pretty pricey so it better work or I'm taking it back. But um, the packaging is really nice and luxurious, has a pump, so yeah. Looking forward to trying this. And then I picked up four Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. Now, I met up with Melissa Parada. If you guys don't know her channel, I will link it down below. But um, her channel name is Honey Bee Philosophy. And she does like beauty videos and she also does like vlogs. But she lives here in the same city as I do. And I've actually met her a couple times. Um, she works at Sephora and she works at the Sephora near my house. and. When I've gone there a few times, I've ran into her and talked to her for just you know a moment or so. So um, we decided to just go ahead and meet up because I watch her videos and she watches my videos. So we decided one day, like three weeks ago, to meet up at the mall. So we did and we did some shopping. So while we were there, I picked up some Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. And um, yeah, if you guys don't know her channel, I will link it below, but she's super nice, super sweet, and she's gorgeous. All right, so these are my first set of Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. I was really excited about them. They've kind of been on my list for a while, but you know, they're a little bit pricey, so I kind of just put them off, but I decided just to go ahead and pick up some. So the first one is called a Velvet Plum, and I know a lot of people have talked about this in the past, so I had to put this one on my list, but it's such a pretty color. I think Melissa picked this one up as well. I swatched it and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get it. 
So that is what it looks like. And I'm sure you're all familiar with the packaging, but this is what the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow packaging looks like. So the next one is called Heather and this is a matte shade and I had to pick it up because it's kind of like a mauvey or taupey purple. It's just really pretty. And I actually wore these two shadows together. I wore Heather in the crease and I wore Velvet Plum. Whoa. I wore Velvet Plum on the lid. So that's what it looks like. I feel like it looks less plum when you watch it out then then it does in the pan the other color anyway so yeah that one is Heather really super pretty and then the next one is really pretty I like this one probably one of my favorites so far it's the one in it's a metallic eyeshadow and it's called Cognic I don't really feel like it's a metallic finish I feel like it's more of a satin finish shadow You'll see what I mean here in a second. But this is kind of like a warm, rich, velvety chocolate color. It's just, ugh. It's like a velvety chocolate. It's so pretty. So I feel like this is more of a satin finish, and this one here is more of a metallic finish. So, yeah. I love that color. It's just beautiful. It's very warm toned. And then lastly, I picked up the one in taupe. And it's just a basic taupe color. I actually should have picked up the one in Toasted. I think I would like that one better. It's a little bit more warm toned. Um, so this one is um, taupe. And it's a matte finish. So that's it for my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will be filming my Ulta haul video next. So do stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Bye.